Hello guys, my sweet and precious children. Welcome back, my sweet and precious students. Uh, we're talking today about lesson 44. Uh, for those of you following along, we're in the third edition of Algebra 1 half, so pre-algebra. It's on page 145 is where it's gonna start. We're gonna be talking about order of operations with exponents and roots, uh, talking about how uh, some of these square roots. Now, if you have not already done this, I think it's a really good idea to uh, have a flag in your notes, because of course you're taking notes while you do this. You're gonna um, write down your base twos. We're gonna do two to the second power is gonna be four. Two to the third is eight. Two to the fourth is 16. See how they start to double? So this is 32, two to the sixth. If we haven't already done this, I can't remember. I've done it with a couple of my classes, so I apologize. So 128. Then I also want you to do three squared equals nine. Three to the third equals 27. Three to the fourth equals uh, oh, 81. And then you're going to do four squared equals 16. Four to the third equals 64. Oh, 16 times four. Oh, yeah, 64. Okay. Uh, four to the fourth equals 256. Then you're also going to write down five squared equals 25. Five to the third equals 125. 5 to the 4th equals 625. Let me just double check that. 5 to the 4th gives me 625. Yep. Uh, these are all going to be really important ones, especially you're going to see 27 a whole heck of a lot. Okay. Uh, so what does this mean? Well, if you have 3 to the 3rd power, it's 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27, right? So this is just a good cheat sheet to go, go by. Uh, it also, if we come down here and look at 2 to the 8th, that doubling this is going to give me 256. So the point of me having you write this down uh, is that I want you to see friendly numbers. When you see 256, you think, wait, I know that that's a friendly number. Let me go look at my cheat sheet. 4 to the 4th or 2 to the 8th, okay? Uh, 16, oh, that's 4 squared, but it's also 2 to the 4th, okay? So why is this important? Well, what if we have the, so the square root, you guys are familiar with the square root, which looks like this, of 81. Two things when multiplied together that give me 81. Well, that's nine, okay? If there's no little number right here, written right here, it's assumed to be a two. Because if it's anything other than two, it's gonna be written there. Cube root of 81. Actually, let's do cube root of 27 is what I wanted to do. Gosh, I it's like ridiculous. Cube root of, 27. That is going to be, I need something multiplied three times that gives me 27. That's three because three times three is nine times three is 27. Okay. Another way of looking at this is for this guy back up here, it's the square root of nine squared. We know nine squared gives us 81, right? Well, the square root and the squared cancel each other out, which is why I'm left with nine. For this guy here, it's the cube root of three to the third power. This guy cancels out that and I'm left with three. Now with roots that are uh, odd, like three, take a look at this guy. I can have negative 27. I don't know why I put it in parentheses. It really doesn't need to be. There we go. Negative 27. Well, if I come back to a regular square root, negative 81, I can't do negative, not, at least not yet. When you get to algebra two, you can. Um, negative 81, I couldn't do because if I have negative nine times negative nine, that's positive 81. If I have nine times nine, that's positive 81. So there's no way to get that negative number here. That's a little bit different with the cube roots, these threes, okay? What I can do here is, all right, three, I need something to the third power that gives me 27. Well, we know three to the third gives me 27, right? Let's think about that negative three. If I did negative three times negative three times negative three, negative three times negative three is positive nine times negative three gives me negative 27. So as long as this guy is odd, you're allowed to have those negatives underneath there. So this cancels out with this and I'm left with the cube root of negative 27 is bam, negative three. All right, so make sure you're writing those guys down if you haven't already. We're gonna talk about A, the fourth root of 81. B is three, third root of 27. 
C is square root of 16. D is cube root of 8. All right. So uh, if we've got, all right, something to the fourth power gives me 81. Go back and look at your cheat sheet. You'll see that uh, 3 to the fourth power, so the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power, this cancels out, this cancels out, I'm left with 3, gives me 81. So your answer is going to be 3. Here, I'm left with this cube root of something to the third power, which gives me 27. 3 to the third power, this cancels out with this, and I'm left with 3. So something squared gives me 16. Well, I know 4 squared will give me 16, so this cancels out. So the square root of 16 is 4. Over here, I need cube root of something cubed, which gives me 8. This cancels out with this, and I'm left with 2, okay? Uh, let's look at some of these other ones. Example number, so let's look at example number one, uh, 2. If you're following along, like I said, I'm on page 145. Uh, so let's say A is 1 to the 5th power, and B is... 3 to the 1 power. I love 1, or uh, I'm sorry, the cube root of 1. I love 1 because 1 to the 5th power is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is all 1. So this equals 1. The cube root of 1 is 1. The 5th root of 1 is 1. The 17th root of 1 is 1. I love 1 for this exact reason, okay? Let's look at some of these other examples. Okay, so now we gotta deal with some order of operations. So example number three. Um, four, three minus two plus eight plus two squared minus three twenty-seven plus twelve divided by two. Okay, uh, straight off the bat, yeah, we know that we do parentheses first, so we're gonna do all this garbage. Three minus two is one, plus eight is nine. So all that's going to equal nine. So what we have is four times nine plus. Now at that same time, all these chunks here, you see that we got a chunk here, we got a chunk here, chunk here, chunk here, right? These two chunks here, you can do those at the same time. So two squared is going to be four minus the cube root of 27. We know is a little bit of side work if you need to. Three, three. So we know three cubed is 27. So cancel out, cancel out, I get three, right? So all this garbage here is three plus 12 uh, divided by two. All right, so we've with that, we've gotten our parentheses out of the way. And notice I took that nine out of parentheses because now that I'm done with it, right? So we've gotten our parentheses out of the way. We've also got our exponents out of the way. So the please excuse from please, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now we have to do multiplication division. We do it um, in order from left to right. So we're gonna do this guy and this guy. Nine times four is 36, plus four minus three plus 12 divided by two is gonna be six. So now we're down to just addition and subtraction. After you do your multiplication and division, don't forget to ATO, add the opposite. So right here, we're gonna add the opposite, okay? Now, uh, that means we add up all our positives here and then we add up all our negatives. So six and four is 10, plus 36 is 46, plus, and then this guy is all by itself, so plus negative three. With those, we get the positive team is larger by 43 players, okay? Let's do another example. Uh, okay, so actually, let's go ahead and do the practice problems on page 146, about halfway down the page. Pause the video, do those practice problems, and then come on back. Um, I'll do D separately. All right, we need something, oh, sorry, I was all twisting it. We need something to the fourth power. I wrote it all down and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of room. So, so B is, 3 to the 64. C is square root of 81. All right, we need something to the fourth power that gives us 625. Well, we know 5 to the fourth power gives us 625. So we're going to say the fourth root of 5 to the fourth power. 
this cancels out with this and I'm left with five, okay? 64, something to the third power that gives me 64. Well, oops. Well, we know three to the third gives us 27, right? So how about four to the third? Let's see. Four to the third gives us 64, perfect. So we've got a uh, cube root of four to the third, right? This cancels out with this and I'm left with four. All right, square root. So we know that this is gonna be square root of something squared gives me 81. We know nine squared gives us 81. Cancel out, cancel out, I get nine. All right, let's look at D. Five, four minus one plus seven plus five squared minus three root 64. Uh, all right, so let's do this. We're gonna do everything that's in those parentheses first. Four minus one is three plus seven gives us 10, right? So we know it's gonna be five and then the operation here is 10 times 10 plus at the same time we can do these, these things. So that's gonna be 25 minus the something, let's do a little bit of side work over here, three, and then we know if we do four to the third power, we'll get 64. So this cancels out with this, and I'm left with four, so minus four. Uh, let's do any multiplication and division. Got that guy right there. 50 plus 25 minus four. Now that we've done a lot of multiplication and division, uh, we're gonna do add the opposite, right? Add the opposite here. 50 plus 25 is 75 plus negative four. Uh, which team is larger? Positives by 71. All right, guys, if you have any questions about those, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you on the next lesson. Thank you so much for your time.